Hey guys, welcome to another video of my Vida Loca. I'm so sorry for this terrible glare. If I could move you guys, I would. Um, but hey, this is kind of a difficult video to film. Not necessarily to film, but to just like accept and um, digest. Um, as you can see, I'm all swagged out in Dodger gear and I'm really sorry for this glare. Um, and that's because I'm going to a Dodger game, right? So today is 8 5 um, 2022. Um, and this week, Dodger fans got some really heavy and sad news. Um, our beloved broadcaster, Vin Scully, passed away this week. And today is the first day that the Dodgers are actually back in town. They were in San Francisco. So they're going to pay tribute to him today. And um, my cousin invited me to the game. Tickets were really expensive, as you can imagine. Um, but she called me and she's like, hey, do you want to go to the game? And I was like, oh my god, yes, because I was actually trying to get tickets. Um, Vince Scully was the voice for the Dodgers for 67 seasons. He started with us in Brooklyn, came all the way to LA, and he retired in 2016. Um, for those of you that know me, um, you know I have two cats. One of them, my oldest, um, is Butter. His name is actually Butter Moon Vincent, named after Vince Scully. And um, it was just really hard news to get. Um, because some people you just feel are larger than life and you kind of, it sounds as stupid as it sounds, but it's like you think they'll live forever, you know? And so when Tommy Lasorda died um, a couple years ago in 2020, I believe, I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, the day that Vin dies is going to be so freaking hard. And it was. Um... But yeah, so today is I think three days after his passing um, and we are going to go to the Dodger game. So I'm going to vlog that. I actually bought him something and you're going to see when I first got it because at this point it's after the fact. But I got him this rose and let me see if it'll focus. So he's actually in there. Ugh. Sorry, there's like a bus near me and it's like way too close. So you guys can see him. And I wrote a little, you know, and a little words. Um, this bus is crazy, dude. It's just like getting a million. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to leave this outside of the stadium. Um, you know, because they named uh, the entrance to the stadium on Sun by Sunset Boulevard after him. Um, so I wanted to leave it there, but I think I'm just going to keep it. Um, probably, like, take it there for a moment of silence um, to, like, honor him. And then I'm going to take it home because I think that someone would take it. It actually lights up really pretty. So I just feel like... As much as you want to think that people respect this kind of stuff, I don't know that they will. So I'm going to uh, actually just go for a moment of silence, pay my respects with it there, um, and then take it home. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to go to the Hollywood star um, that he has for broadcasting. He's on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, so yeah i'm gonna take it tomorrow as well and then i'm just gonna keep it where i keep all my other dodger stuff i have tommy's bobblehead that um one of the people i was dating gave me at the time and now it's like i can put this just aside like tommy's and um have it for keepsake and memory of just in honor of him you know so yeah, I'm going to the stadium right now. There's a lot of traffic in LA. Um, I think it's a sold out crowd. I think because people are expecting to pay tribute to the greatest to ever do it. No exaggeration. He's so respected amongst all sports fans. Um, 
broadcasters, people in other sports like football, basketball, don't hesitate to call him literally one of the best, if not the best broadcaster to ever do it. Um, and he was, oh, I'm going to cry. Um, it was just, like I said, some people are larger than life. And to me, like, Vin is the Dodgers. He's the soul of the Dodgers. He's the voice of the Dodgers. And you think of, like, how closely intertwined a great part of your childhood is to this man's voice and this man's recollection of stories for an organization and team mm -hmm. that you love so much. <sighs> so all I can say is that I'm eternally grateful to have had it been our team, the Dodgers. Um, the team that got this magnificent human to be our voice so um i'm gonna get there safely now and um i'll see you guys when i'm there okay okay so i know it looks trash but it comes in this bag which is like super cute right and i'm like man this is legit it was a blue rose on i saw i saw it on amazon which is why i got it didn't think it'd be this fancy, but it was only 10 bucks, guys. So if you got a boo that you want to do something cute for, I would definitely say to go for it. But here it is. And it lights up, like I said. So there it is. <laughs> so pretty. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. I needed to get batteries for this. I needed to get batteries that I left at home. But basically, it turns on. And there you go. So, I went home for this so that I wouldn't have to go back home. But now I'm going to have to go back home. Just for the batteries. That's basically it. Okay, so we're walking. I have my stuff. I'm taking the rose because I don't know if I leave it, if I don't leave it. Let me show you guys. It turned on. I know I showed you a little bit. See? So pretty. There. Oh, okay. Fire okay is kicking my butt today. I didn't think I was gonna come. I've been really tired. But we're here and I'm late. The shuttle isn't available. <laughs> Um, so I gotta walk, I gotta walk, I gotta walk. Broadcasting retirement, and they have um, some really pretty roses to honor him. Okay, so we made it to our seats. I'm like taking pictures, obviously. It's so cute. Um, we obviously missed like the homage, like I said. Right there is um, his little flower and his retired broadcasting sign. Now I'm just waiting for my cousin. I've had people ask me where I got this. I'm like, Amazon, and then I, you know, hooked it up. Um, in other news, we're playing the Padres. 
which we're actively competing with them. So, pretty good game to come to. Guys, so we're finally doing the infamous Michi. Which one should I get? I want to get this one. Let's get it! And then I'm gonna get a Estrella. No, don't I look old to you? You're like regulations. <laughs> Wow, that's me and Moody beats me. I'm calling him beats me. Oh, she said, I'm a pro, don't trip about it. Hey, 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 hey. You don't make me meet you at home, though.
This is what they have set up for him right now. It's really cute. Um, and I guess let's have a moment of silence. We're not gonna get fireworks tonight because um, this guy right here. If you guys saw fireworks, check out that vlog if you don't know what Dodger fireworks look like. Um, but what, we what, we what? Oh, we want because why because san diego sucks just kidding but um i have i'm gonna go to the hollywood star tomorrow so the vlog's not ending here it's ending tomorrow so i'll catch you guys there Bye. i hope you don't drive crazy the last guy almost killed me no we want to get there fast <laughs> Hollywood but it was pretty like hard to see the people just like walking over it and um woo. yeah but anyways thank you guys so much for joining me in another video especially one that's as meaningful as this one to me um yeah um I don't really know what to say it's kind of awkward being out here all I can say is that Ben was a wonderful man and a wonderful human being and um, I just hope he's at peace but yeah like I said thank you guys for joining me for this and I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs> bye